Hi guys. Alright. It is a cool, gray, cloudy day here in the collapse of everything. Where, uh, what have we stumbled into? It is a Thursday morning, July 11th, 2024. Alright guys. So, uh, some of you know, this marks the, uh, the end of my one week <clears throat> doom scrolling hiatus uh, where I am one hour away. One hour from now I will have uh, survived one week without any doom scrolling. Well, not counting that article about that little bimbo yesterday which was truly doom scrolling not not counting that i have made it seven days and nights without ever ever one time turning on any news no mainstream media no medium.com no youtube doomer channels uh no lefty media no environmental media absolute news blackout and uh, up until 10 o'clock last night I I had the, the only thing that that had leaked through to me in a week was about some hurricane rolling into Texas and that rolled through here last night so at 10 o'clock last night with 12 hours to go I got emails uh, from my sister and from Colonel Tom in Vermont that I guess it was the same hurricane. Was that hurricane barrel barreled through Vermont and uh, kicked its ass? So in, in, in one week of social intercourse with you know all the people coming through bugs in a jar, over the 4th of July weekend. Good Lord, we've probably had, since I was on here, 20 people come through here. You know, just going about my business in, in Ithaca shopping and whatnot. And uh, just, if I weren't a doomer, uh, just going about my, my daily life, uh, I would have thought that there was a a hurricane, a fairly small hurricane blowing somewhere between Texas and Vermont. Uh, and that would have been the, the extent of it. And of course, it's been one of probably the single hottest week uh, I have ever experienced uh, in the state of New York, certainly the hottest week of 2024, and uh, probably the hottest week I have ever suffered through in upstate New York, and I can be virtually 100% sure that Ithaca, New York is not the only place on the planet in mid-July baking in a heat wave. So what, what, what I'm going to do is, this is just off the top of my head, uh, kind of a, a kind of a version of my uh, doomsday predictions that I have every year. And uh, you, you know guys, some of you might remember my Manga Bay Roundup rants that I did for eight years where every week I, you know, I turned on mangabay.com to read the headlines, and uh, I, I dropped that feature this week because it was the least listened to, always, every week. The worst rated video of the week was the Manga Bay uh, Roundup rant, where, you know, the headlines... Just week after week, month after month, year after year, 
just sounded identical where I could have I could have picked up a manga bay uh, you know from three years earlier and done the same rant over and not one person would have called me out on it and that's just what the mainstream media now uh, is it, starting to sound like it's uh, you don't have to go to mangabay.com uh, anymore like you used to to find out how fucked we are um, you just, it, it's just like every day now uh, the, the headlines uh, are, are well not exactly the same you, you know the, the name of the storm changes the drought moves from here to there the heat waves and the floods move from here to there so uh, th th this is just purely off the top of my head so, I am going to make a prediction <clears throat> what I am going to find when I turn on the mainstream media news on July 11th, 2024. <clears throat> I'm going to take a wild guess that the headlines are going to sound a whole lot like they did one week ago. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> Well, let's just start, uh, obviously, since uh, I, I guess Vermont. Uh, I, I, I'm going to take a wild guess. We'll start right here next door to me in New York that uh, v Vermont uh, has had the shit kicked out of it. I, I think for the second year in a row, is it just last year or was it two years ago? when uh, Vermont got the living shit kicked out of it. So we have some sort of big flood in Vermont. That's going to be their big floods. Uh, where else? Uh, I, I'm quite sure that big floods are uh, not limited to the tiny state of Vermont. Now, is it monsoon season in Asia yet? Uh, I think it is monsoon. There, there, there's got to be some big fucking flood going on somewhere wherever they have monsoons. Where, where do they have monsoons? Is that like Bangladesh and Pakistan and in India? Uh, somewhere over there like India, Pakistan, or Bangladesh. <clears throat> in the past week... I, I have missed some big fucking flood uh, that, you know, there's, uh, I'm sure there's pictures of cars washing down the damn street. Uh, there, there's pictures of buildings collapsing, uh, farm fields a uh, foot underwater. Uh, so I know we've got some floods that I, that I missed. Uh, okay, the... The flip side of floods and weather whiplash. Okay, droughts. <clears throat> Where is there a drought uh, the, the, this past week? Well, <clears throat> China and, uh, and Africa are my two usual... Uh, fallbacks. There, 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 there's got to be some goddamn drought going on somewhere in China where you're going to see these pictures uh, of, of these brown fields and the shriveled up corn and the and, and, and people eating bugs and, and shit. Uh, I'm assuming that Mexico, well, maybe that hurricane did that hurricane put some water in the lakes down in Mexico uh, my guess is that hurricane barrel uh, was not enough to end the drought in Mexico so they're talking about any day now that the citizens is it Mexico City which I think is the biggest city in the Western Hemisphere <clears throat> running out of water well well okay floods droughts well obviously heat waves 
Uh, no shit, Sherlock. It's the middle of July of 2024. <clears throat> so, uh, not, not only have we been suffering a heat wave, if, if we've been suffering a heat wave in upstate New York in this past week, uh, I'm, if we have been in a heat wave up here in the, uh, you know, in the northeast corner of the U.S., my guess is pretty much the entire United States is baking. I'm, a, I'm, I'm assuming <clears throat> that, uh, that, that, that it's pretty much just wet bulb from, uh, Miami to Seattle and from, uh, San Diego to Boston. Uh, I, I'm assuming that, uh, that last week, uh, was one of the hot, not, not just in upstate New York, uh, has it been one of the hottest weeks uh, in in uh, it, at least in my history? Uh, but but I'm quite sure there's there, there's baking heat waves all over the U.S. and I'm assuming uh, anywhere in the northern hemisphere is baking. Uh, no doubt the. Uh, the northern and 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 I'm I'm gonna take a guess that even the southern hemisphere is having just outrageously warm temperatures in for their winter. Uh, I mean, obviously not compared to the northern hemisphere, but I'm sure Australia and South America and uh, in southern Africa are all warmer than usual. Uh, no doubt the... Uh, I, won't, I, won't, I won't go to polar... won't get to polar ice caps. Uh, let, let's touch on... Uh, we're going from droughts and heat waves, so uh, wildfires. Uh, I've noticed, thankfully, no smoke coming down from Canada in the last week. I was wondering if we were going to have smoke drifting in from Canada. Um, but I'm quite sure that Canada is burning. It's the, the, the winds have been coming out of the south all week. Uh, so, so I'm quite sure Canada's burning. I'm uh, just assuming uh, California's burning. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Uh, I'm assuming there's a heat wave uh, in, in California, so I'm, I'm assuming if there's a heat wave, I'm also assuming that California is on fire. Uh, the Pantanal down there in South America was in, in, in full conflagration uh, a week ago. My guess is the Pantanal the biggest wetland in the Western Hemisphere, I believe, is it continues just to go up uh, in cinders right next to the Pantanal. No doubt, the Amazon rainforest is is uh, in flames today. Uh, I I think the main wildfire season in the Amazon is usually like September and October. I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess that uh, the Amazon rainforest is experiencing, and the Pantanal experiencing, uh, you know, just way earlier than usual. What the wildfire season uh, has hit weeks, if not months, ahead of time, and it, it, it's just a, a, a pure scene of the apocalypse down there and uh, what's apocalyptic in South America uh, I, I'm also uh, assuming uh, like the the boreal forest well well in Canada and Alaska and Russia 
So I, I'm quite sure that Russia is in flames today, that uh, Canada and Alaska aren't quite as much in flames as Russia, but uh, the, 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 the planet is literally burning. There will be no shortage of planet is burning news. So what else is the planet doing uh, as long as we're, uh, I guess you can't have a wildfire in the oceans. <coughs> but I am, uh, I, I, I see no reason why the ocean temperatures aren't just remaining at record highs. I will, I will take a wild guess that sea surface temperatures on July 11th, 2024, if they're not at all time record highs, they, 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 they've got to be, <clears throat> they, they, they certainly, if, if it's not an all time record high sea surface temperature today, it, it's got to be goddamn close. <clears throat> uh, which, of course, as long as we're talking about sea surface temperatures, don't forget the coral reefs. Uh, you know, the, the coral reefs are completely fucked. Uh, uh, all news from the coral reef front is bad. Uh, the, 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 the coral reefs are going to be hammered more in the summer of 2024 than they ever have uh, been. Uh, coral reefs are bleaching and dying all over this planet. Uh, I guess it's winter time on the Great Barrier Reef, but even so, even though it's winter time down there, I'm quite sure the the Great Barrier Reef in midwinter is in full bleach. Uh, okay, and then uh, what else going on in the oceans? Well, of course the the uh, ice caps are are continuing uh, just uh, full speed ahead with their melting. I'm sure. Uh, the the ice extent and volume in the Arctic, uh, if not at record lows, is at all-time lows. My guess is that the summer of 2024 is fully on track to be, uh, if, if not the record year of ice loss in the uh, Arctic, uh, certainly uh, in the top two or three years, but uh, my guess is the past week in uh, <clears throat> the Arctic ice melt is is <clears throat> going full speed ahead, and on the opposite end of the planet, even though it is midwinter <clears throat> in Antarctica. <clears throat> I'm sure uh, it, it, it's even uh, melting a little at the, or that the ice extent in, uh, in Antarctica is at one of its midwinter lowest. <clears throat> uh, again, these, these are just uh, doomer hunches. What else am I... Uh, <clears throat> What else am I missing here with, with all the... <coughs> now you're not going to read about it uh, in the mainstream media. Probably I would have to go over to Manga Bay dot com to find any mention of this, but but obviously the sixth mass extinction is, is going on absolutely 
in uh, in in full swing <clears throat> that the sixth mass extinction of our fellow Earthlings being obliterated off the face of the planet uh, is absolutely in overdrive. There will be no mention of the sixth mass extinction uh, in the mainstream media. Uh, none whatsoever. Obviously, you are not going to see the word overshoot. Uh, the word overshoot has never appeared one time in, uh, certainly in Yahoo News uh, over the past week. So I have not missed reading the word overshoot <clears throat> with the possible exception of medium.com. And, and my guess is I could say the same <coughs> For the word overpopulation, I, uh, I, 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 I'm trying to think of why the word overpopulation would have shown up anywhere, uh, certainly in the mainstream uh, media news. Now, there might have been some news stories... <clears throat> You, you know, from the opposite end, about how not enough babies are being born. On the planet, that that's probably getting some press. This new meme, how uh, we need to have more babies uh, on the planet. Uh, so uh, I, I'm sure that more and more countries are offering more and more incentives to breeders <clears throat> to have more babies. You can probably, uh, probably miss some of that. <clears throat> now, of course, uh, <clears throat> not that this really has any major difference. Uh, to the state of the planet, but obviously one of the uh, the most enjoyable things <clears throat> of uh, not doom scrolling is I have not one time <coughs> in one week, guys. <clears throat> I have never one time seen one picture or had to listen to one word coming out of Donald Trump or Joe Biden's mouth. I've never seen a picture for one glorious week. I have not had to look for one second at, at a picture of Donald Trump or Joe Biden or had to listen to one word uh, out of the gangster's mouth or the senile old fool's mouth. Now, <clears throat> I, I, I'm assuming that, uh, that Donald Trump is still uh, solidly uh, set to win the White House because I would be absolutely shocked if Joe Biden has dropped out. <clears throat> you, you know, a week ago, uh, I guess the big story about Joe Biden uh, after that debate performance, of which I never saw that debate. Uh, but there was all of this talk <clears throat> that Joe Biden was going to drop out of the race. There is no way, ain't going to happen. Uh, I think even that would have filtered through to me. If, uh, if Joe Biden uh, had dropped out of the race to give a just a, a fighting chance uh, for 
anybody on the planet other than Donald Trump to be in the White House. My guess is, is, is Joe Biden uh, has dug his heels in uh, to, the, to the bitter end. And uh, so my prediction stays rock solid as it has since the, ver since the day that Joe Biden announced he was running. Uh, that is when uh, I made my no shit Sherlock prediction that Donald Trump uh, was headed back to the White House. I have never wavered from that. And uh, I'm more solid on that prediction than ever. It's not even a prediction. It's a statement of fact. <clears throat> so that has been pleasant. Uh, not to have to deal with either one of those fuckers. Uh, but anyway, that should be a pretty good uh, summation of uh, what I am going to uh, find w when I get back into the mainstream media and medium.com and, and, and all the rest of it. Uh, all, all I'm, it's going to sound a hell of a lot like the news did seven days ago. Uh, the doom and gloom is is, is going to sound uh, well not exactly the same. The only difference, of course, is th that we're a lot more fucked uh, on July 11th uh, than we were a week ago. Uh, we're, we're a hell of a lot more fucked on every level uh, than, than than a week ago, despite all the fucking hopium. Uh, I'm getting ready to read. Uh, and, and, and the more and more fucked we get, the more and more desperate uh, the, these uh, clueless fucking moron hopium addicts are going to get. I, 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 I have no doubt uh, I, will, I will have zero problem, uh, e e even though I haven't been keeping a file for a week, that by tomorrow night, uh, I, I've got 36 hours to uh, to put together my ain't gonna happen roundup rant uh, between Thursday morning and Friday night, I I I, I am 100% sure that there will be enough hopium uh, on the pages of the mainstream media and medium.com and all the rest of them to have no problem putting together an ain't gonna happen roundup rant for tomorrow night. <clears throat> But right now, uh, i got to get back to work. I've, it's been too goddamn hot to work. We have a high of 76 degrees today. 76 degrees is our high at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And uh, I'm going to get out there and uh, start wrestling some heavy rocks. On this cool, cloudy day in the collapse, I highly suggest I'm going to start rolling rocks up the hill. Who does that sound like? I'm, 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 I'm going to be bringing rocks up a hill. Who was it that I... <clears throat> so this is old Sisyphus signing off. Uh... And I will be see you tomorrow with my no shit Sherlock ain't gonna happen rant. Bye guys. <clears throat>